Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you, Andrew, and thank you, Jean, for having me here tonight. It's a privilege to be here with uh, such a beautiful people, such a beautiful crowd. Now, just by show of hands, please, who has heard me speak before? Excellent, thank you. I grew up in the, literally in the forest. Uh, that's why what my parents didn't, were unable to grow in their gardens, and believe me or not, they still do, year in and year out. They've been growing the majority of their foods uh, as long as I can remember. What they couldn't grow, they picked, and I picked as well, in the forest around. What they couldn't grow, they shared or they swapped with the friends and the family. They taught me a lot how to appreciate gifts of nature. Uh, when I was 17, uh, I noticed one thing when we got together as a family, and uh, I come from a large family, especially from my mother's side. And at those visits, because we only lived 50 to 100 kilometers from each other, we used to meet like once or twice a month. And I noticed one common thing that kept happening at every, that, at every gathering. There was a competition who has more pains and aches. Now, in those years, uh, I've put my health on the top of the list of my priorities. And I started researching, researching and learning how to keep healthy in a natural way. I believe we all come to this world uncooked, raw. <laughs> yes. I believe if you remember, I'm sure you remember, you've left your car in the heat of the day and you, come, you came back. Uh, does anyone drive a black car? <laughs> and you touch by coincidence the roof. Does it hurt when you leave your finger there for more than two seconds? Yeah. This is what applies to food as well. Our bodies can be compared to equi, equilateral triangle. Yeah. <coughs> now, that is physical side, mental side and spiritual side. If one of those shrinks or one of those extends or contracts, we become unbalanced. We experience all sorts of problems and challenges these days. Is disease a burden? Now, it is a burden to us, but not just to us, to our loved ones, to our family members who love us, but they wouldn't admit it. Learn from the mistakes of others. You can never li live long enough to make them all yourself. <laughs> and it's about implementing more raw foods. And after a while you realize that you don't need so many cooked foods. You don't need so many addictive foods like chocolate and uh, things that don't make us feel well. This is not happening only in America. I'm sure you are aware of it. I'm going to gently mention food supplements here because if you look for word supplement, word supplement from Latin means incomplete, isolated, separated. Decision is yours. What are we here for? Would you rather take these or take those? These products are gifts of nature and the less we interfere with them, the better they get. Add years to your life and life to your years with raw foods. That's what I encourage you to do. Now, it's not always what we have to start doing, it's mostly what we have to stop doing. Because we create man and maintain our own diseases. We change ourselves for one of these two reasons. The first one is desperation, and the other one is inspiration. I realized it took me three decades to realize that uh, I don't need to eat my friends. I love animals, I love wildlife. And I realized that in animals are able to express emotions. I'm sure you know that, you have your pets. Why become a vegetarian? Health reasons. I understood that there is a lot of cancer problems linked to animal products. And another thing I realized, I don't need to be involved in killing to be healthy. Vegetarians, we don't eat meat. We don't eat anything that has a face. We don't eat dead bodies. Uh, vegans, they don't eat any animal products, uh, not even uh, milk, and other dairies, cheeses, eggs, not even honey. Now, just to wrap it up, uh, Andrew mentioned group, the Brisbane Raw Food and Healthy Living Group was established in December 2008 in Brisbane by a lady whose little baby boy developed multiple allergies. And we started attracting interesting guest speakers, not just in, from Australia, but from overseas, from Canada, from the United States. The group grew to 500 members, is in, is in a great shape and growing, and interest is rising. 
I'd like to thank you for your attention and uh, have a great night.